I'm excited to have back on the show Canadian Olympic gold medalist and world champion sprinter Robert Esme. He's actually the founder of Air Blast Off Sports and co-founder of Critique.com. And he's here today to talk about his new business venture. Welcome, Robert. Thank you. It's a pleasure <laughs> being here. You're always a great, uh, what we call a leader and host. So always a pleasure to be on your show. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back, and it's actually the 25th anniversary. That's right, baby. Get the champagne popping. <laughs> <laughs> it's on you... ice. It's on ice. <laughs> <laughs> this was in 1996, and can you talk a little bit about that? You you can give talks and. Absolutely. You know, um, I had a vision when I was younger to be an Olympic champion also, and to be a businessman, to be a father and to give back to my community. Uh, so those were the four pillars that I wanted to embody my life on. So the first portion of that, I started giving back within the community in different charities, but also was chasing my Olympic dream. Um, we know dreams um, cost. Sometimes it's a financial sector, sometimes emotional, a physical, but there's a cost to making that dream become a reality, taking that vision and turning it into action. So uh, to be able to prepare, go through struggles and obstacles, and finally showed up, showed up at the Olympics, and knowing my Olympic birth was not the 100 meter, that's what I wanted as well. But uh, to be able to realize I'm going to represent our country in a relay, right? How awesome is that? You get to be part of a team. Like one of your first major thing is you're representing your country and you're rep representing a team, but knowing that your individual contribution uh, can turn out to be successful within a team, just like a business, right? So within there, uh, learned a lot of lessons and contributed to that. And to be able to walk into the Olympics with a great team, come out with a gold medal and stop some of those dream killers out there who says, oh, you're too small or you chat too much or whatever and make it happen, right? And getting that medal around your neck and realizing all the people behind the scenes that people on the forefront don't see that help got you to there, the sponsorship, the people who says, good luck, the people who bring water to me at practice, my DJ on the side, um, this, you know, all the other little pieces around, I'm out there, but the public is not seen behind the scenes, right? And to say, wow, we've made it, I said to myself when I'm on the podium, we've accomplished this. And uh, for all the little guys and to, to let people know, you can come from Sudbury, a small town and be on a global stage and achieve such greatness at this moment, right? Um, was extremely rewarding. And I never thought I would get another great feeling such as that until I got my kids. <laughs> <laughs> right, so they're my new babies, right? But um, it, it, was, um, it, it was so much joy and passion and, and the opportunity to see Canada's name in the limelight globally of Canada, Canada. Everyone around the world loves Canada, right? Yes. Um, I remember when I traveled abroad and I see things are happening, um, ships are getting bombed and stolen and different things. They left Canada alone because such great name, such great reputation, such a great country to be part of and to be able to contribute um, to that success of it. It's unbelievable. Yes. And, you know, blast off on your forehead. Can you tell us? What or inspired you to do that? Because I was watching TV and I know I've interviewed and talked about this before, but in case, can you tell us why? Absolutely. You know, um, the Olympic had about five stories, but the fifth one, people tried different things and it wasn't, it wasn't getting enough traction. Um, so uh, it was the hundred meter, who was gonna be the world's fastest man? And we know Donovan took care of that. Um, Michael Johnson was his double double, so he took care of that. Um, next one was the Carl um, Car Lewis, 
was he going to get his ninth gold medal? It didn't happen. <laughs> right? And the relay, right? Who was going to be that fifth story? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to allow the fifth story to be about me um, in a selfish way. And, you know, especially going to the Olympics and thinking there, you have to be a little bit selfish to, to go towards that dream. And I figured, okay, um, I'm trying to figure what I was going to do. And I had a business card and a pen. And I asked the gentleman, Corey, I said, can you do like artwork in the hair? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm half Jamaican. I'm like, all right, no problem. <laughs> so make a long story short, by the time my hand finished, wrote everything down and the vision that I had him, I said, can you do this? And I had some little lines of going across for speed and a little stick figure. Right, so I'm coming out the blocks, and then I put relay blast off. I wanted to think of rocket launcher blast off. Blast was to start something, which I did. Off was to finish it, which I needed to do during the Olympics. Right, and then in between you got substance. So I know I blasted off six years going in uh, blast, but I needed to finish the off. The off that means we had to win the gold medal. So that will signify blast off. If we did not win, I could not became blast off. I would have came last off, but I wanted blast off. So we had to win. So when he put it in the hair, I'm like, yeah, I think I'm ready to make a statement. Yeah. And I called, yeah, I called Peter Thompson, one of the photographer, and I told him what I was planning. I said, I, I need you to come at the start and take a photo of you, right? And then all of a sudden when he did that, all the television camera come and wonder what's on my head. I was on the jumbo screen. I'm like, yes, it's becoming real. I'm like, good, but we need to win, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I remember my teammates were laughing after I showed the haircut, which is awesome, because I wanted to be more fun because I wanted to take away the pressures and the stress of, we got to run fast because we got to get some sponsorship. We got to pay some bills, but I wanted that playground fun, that old school fun the playing tags back and forth, that energy system where you felt free, you felt no stress. That's the energy that I wanted to see part of the haircut. And I, I was able to see that. And yeah, and after that, the starter says, jump in your blocks, you know, after I unveiled the stuff, I know billions of people watching. I know the girls in my city was watching. I make sure I shave the muscles, um, put some baby oil to make me look bigger on TV and flex that muscle one time to let the light hit it, sit off, boom, 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 like a transformer. So all the pieces I was thinking and planning on around the, the, the scenario. Even I wore um, a sponsored hat during the Olympics and you're not allowed. And I said, well, I plan it just in case you come and sue me because that amount of advertisement, I can't afford to pay for. And my sponsor says, we got you back no matter what. <laughs> right? So I'm thinking globally, right? And uh, yeah, overall, that's the whole concept of blast off was to start to finish. And um, I think we're able to do that during the Olympics. Start, finish it, blast off. We're able to complete it. Gold medal, bang, bang, done. <laughs> yes. It's incredible. And, you know, and so you have a, you know, air blast off sports, right? You yeah. have, um, and that's going quite well. Yes, we, um, BC was very good. Um, we, we had a good, strong numbers, uh, came over to Ontario to be closer to my mother and it just started picking back up again. Um, they, I think they're starting to understand no matter what sport you play, you need speed conditioning. So I am the middle person if they don't do track. So I, I've been known as the speed doctor. I can create a massive amount of speed within six weeks. Uh, no other people can say they can do that. Why? I think I am able to be the speed doctor and do this. I've been doing it for 20 something years and it's like clockwork. Uh, I'm one of the only athletes back then that ever coached himself to an Olympic gold medal. No other athletes on the planet could tell you that. So that combination of those and working with so many doctors within my medical side, um, they've said, oh, he's a doctor. And I said, I'm the doctor of speed. So I've actually got a lab coat, everything, tetoscope, the whole nine yards, check pad and boom, boom. Oh, that's a bad speed. Officer, write him a bag ticket. Let him come see me. <laughs> <laughs> right? So um, that brand is becoming quite known um, nationally and internationally. And when I look at some of the body of the work that I've done, a lot of athletes have played in the CFL, 
lacrosse, Team Canada, gymnastics, so many different sports um, based on my six week um, sp speed for success program. Wonderful. And then let's talk about, and congratulations on the launch Thank of you. a new business venture called Critique. That's right. The ultimate platform for experts to give their feedback. I wish I had this growing up and especially coaching myself in 1996. If I could tap into mentors, coaches, um, and get a perspective. I probably would have had less injuries and I probably would have had a world record because now I had an expert to teach and guide me where I need to go when I didn't have a coach. I, I think of people uh, such as even Sudbury where I grew up, if we had access to, you know, um, a basketball high level coach from around the world or any other sports or venture capital. You know, even now we reach out to some venture capital to get more knowledge and awareness especially setting this business up. So sort of a mentorship that you've got so much experience that you can break it down within a two to three minute type of format. And I'm like, this would be an awesome thing for the, for the globe. Um, mm -hmm. So when one of the co-founder Bernie's and I met and I worked with his kids, um, breaking down the biomechanics from hockey, basketball and dancing, um, he says, I, I have a project that's been sitting on for a while. The technology is ready. Um, I think the world is ready. And um, would you like to be part of it? No brainer, <laughs> I said, all right. So um, taking over all the talent acquisitions uh, side of the business. Uh, he runs the technical side of the business. Uh, Lisa runs the uh, COO, uh, the operational side. So as a company, we have a leader leading our business as well, <laughs> right? And our tech group have uh, been phenomenal, Nico and Angela. Uh, so overall, we've got a solid team. They've been in the business before uh, with two other tech companies. So they've got experience in that side. And all I do is bring what I bring. So with everyone expertise right now is probably going to be one of the biggest um, utility um, educational slash um, company out there for ultimate feedback mm -hmm. from all, all industries. So anything that you can um, upload a video, audio, image, PDF. Um, we've got surgeons on there, dentists, lawyers, coaches, athletes, a musician, producers, name it. <laughs> this is the platform for you where if you need guidance and a personalized feedback, this is the place for you where you get that um, within a, it could save you hours, it could save you time or, or money. You know, when you have a venture capitalist coming on and you have a pitch deck that you want to present and you're stuck, you give them your, your best 10 pages of whatever. And for instance, you get, say, Mark Cuban on there, right? Mm -hmm. He can give you a feedback that's valuable, could worth thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars within two minutes and guide you your path. So these are the type of scenarios where you can help others on a global stage. And uh, for me, anyway, when I'm on the platform the first 10 months, each month, I'm tying that back with a charity to give him back that way as well. So I'm not only giving my time, but that time is going to turn into financial that gives back to that charity at the same time. So many different positive things that you can get out of it. And it's not anybody who's going to make that platform. You have to be an expert. You have to be valid by a third party. And you have to be able to want to give people's feedback, right? And those guys, the users, are going to want to get personalized feedback. So you got the double-ended sword. But overall, um, we're about to come out of the App Store probably by the end of the month. Wow. And within there, we've got so many experts that's coming in that's like, oh, I'm a no-brainer. I'm in. And they're bringing seven or eight people. They're bringing in a the massage therapist. They're bringing the doctors. They're bringing in a the nutritionist. They're bringing a fitness trainer. They're bringing all the chefs. So those expertise, it just <laughs> ballooned very quickly behind the scenes. So uh, we're looking forward to sharing that with the rest of the world uh, by July 1st. Yes. And so there's you know there's no cap any you know you, you're you can you'll take every well everyone who's an expert so there's no there, yeah there's expert around the world so that will never go away um and the great news about it as, as i said even as a current athlete if i had this where i could make additional money especially i traveled a lot growing up and i'm stuck in between flights 
<laughs> I'm stuck in different hotels by myself that I don't speak the language. I could be on there making additional income. Mm. Right? Me as a retired athlete, I make extra income. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, me behind the scenes, because not necessarily um, we say we want um, Julia Roberts. We'd love to have Julia Roberts, but I will also have Julia Roberts stylist. I'd also love to have Julia Roberts um, doctors, trainers, um, gardening person, right? Um, these experts within those areas. So th those guys, the producers, the camera guys, they have a value to teach others their skills and knowledge that they acquired for how many years. But with that acquiring of knowledge, they can critique and give feedback within two, three minutes that save people time. Our young generation right now, they want it now and they want it hot and they want it quick, right? <laughs> so that's where we want to live as critique, a short form type of uh, feedback platform, right? Mm -hmm. And we know it works. It works with Cameo, it works with other companies, mm -hmm. but this is the only one that blends everything together, education, 50, 80 categories all over the place, right? Sport betting is another big thing. Everyone wants to come in from sports betting to give feedback on their, their game pick, the fantasy sport stuff, and we have expert in those areas. That's it. Once again, we're learning new case studies every day we talk to someone from around the world. We're getting new case studies and we're building the software to accommodate those. That's great. And Robert, is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh yeah, we don't play around, man. So we talk about <laughs> my, my dream as a child to become an Olympic champion. So that's accomplished. And yes, I have to be a little bit selfish to get there, but you know, at times in different parts of your life, you have to make some selfishness to do that. But once we retire, right? I wanted to create a great family. I and mean, part of me is I wanted to always be father of the year, year after year. You know, as a black man, it's important um, that we celebrate uh, black culture, black fathers who are doing a phenomenal job because of the stereotype Oh, not another black guy who not raising their kids. We've got so many role models. I had them and I just want to share and big up to all the black fathers out there continue being great um, mentorship. Um, and that solved a lot of that stigma that was put on us in the past and change up the narrative. So um, within there um, to be a great father. Um, the next portion was continue to give back, which now I'm getting back into that realm of my life where I'm able to give back. And some of my causes, I have a lot of them, you know, elderlies, I've always said twice a child, once an adult, you give me an opportunity with this platform to give back, to give back to sports, to give back to the veterans because they put their life on the line for us. And I don't see in this country, we're doing enough for them, right? So there's so many passions and cause dear to my heart that I want to be able to see with this platform that will make become reality over the next two to three years. And then the last piece is to become the great businessman. So when I tied all of them together, I'm ultimately will be living my dream of the next 10, 15 years of all four business, personal, um, father, and an Olympic and a world champion. So um, it doesn't matter who you are, what age you are, what you do in your life, you can have many dreams and go after them Sometimes you have to pick one, complete it next. Sometimes you can multitask with one or two. Um, but remember, dreams can come true. You got to protect them. They're your dreams. Don't allow them to kill you. It's just sometimes what I've learned in life is your vision as a human being um, and your vision of a timeline as a human being on earth as a, as a date. But sometimes that date it's a higher power, a God or a spirit that says, no, we're not ready for this yet, <laughs> right? So uh, business-wise, I expect to be a long, long, long time ago achieving this in my life. But I think right now in my life, the maturity, the time, and everything that's happened, this is the right time to take this to another level. Um, and once again, it wasn't my earthly time, that's godly time guided that path. So I'm always thankful and appreciated for the higher man that guided me. Although sometimes as human beings, we, we want things now like the young generation, uh, but um, there's always two clocks working, human time and godly time. So 
remember, follow those passions. And sometimes it's not going according to plan. It's for a reason. Accept it, re readjust, make some adjustments and go forward. Well, you are certainly a testimonial and a role model. And do I ask you, are you going to ever write a memoir? I started um, putting together a book um, oh. and um, we didn't get to complete it this year. Part of the project was to complete it this year, the 25th anniversary, but I was doing a lot of the work myself. We've got all the chapters, the headlines, uh, and then I'm writing different parts of the chapters. But I, I do need some help in that area to um, probably ghost writer and different things to help me finalize it. We've got all the pictures and stuff in place. So um, earthly time, I wanted it already, but godly time, they got a different time span. <laughs> and then um, as a, as a, a person um, who understand when you need help, you should ask for help. I need help and I need the right help um, to be able to complete that project. Um, and in life, we always need help. And that's why we have critique as well. No matter what you do, we need help in our life. Um, I call it favors, the five F. You need a faith system of um, reasons why you do it. the faith, the fear, the motivational part of it. A favors is the third one. We need favors in life. Uh, we need to open our mouth and ask. Um, we need to be focused on that task uh, to accomplish it. And the fifth one that we don't like to get to is the, is the frustration. <laughs> right? and, and the pandemic caused a lot of frustration, but also a lot of opportunities to get through that and see and restructure and take a pause and regroup. So um, I don't see the frustration as a negative. I see it as an opportunity to come successful out of it. So it's the way you look at life and how you position things, because we're all going to have obstacles in our life. It's just normal. Um, it's the how you deal with the obstacles and the positivity that you can take and spin and go forward with it, right? But it is a lesson no matter what we have in life. Thank you very much, Robert, for coming on the show. I like to have you come back. Anytime. <laughs> yes. And I love that picture behind you. And uh, yes. <laughs> yes, the, the iconic four yes. by one right there. Um, oh. And then, oh, by the way, that's the original baton. Um, once in a while, I'll take it home from the bank. <laughs> I'm oh, home for the Lord. weekend, so it can hang out with me. Yeah, that's the original. It's still got Donovan ring print in it. Um, once again, you know, when you're working together as a team, such as yourself, people that don't see, it takes specialized individual with great talents in their areas of expertise to come together for one goal. Continue to make this show successful, continue to make what we do successful. It takes teamwork. So it doesn't matter um, what it is. Um, nothing better than having a great team around you. And the most important about having a great team is having mutual respect for each other's talent and contribution. No matter what level or what it is it may be, you have to respect that and give props where it due. And within there, with that common goal, you get success pretty much in anything that you do. And you also can book me for your speaking engagement too. Boom! It's yes. off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> and more information, they can go to critique.com. Yes, critique.com, the ultimate platform. Right now, it's the number one search out there for critique. So, uh, and we're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not even launched yet, folks. We're not even launched yet. Right. Right now, we're just doing the expert site, and then as soon as it come out of the app store, we're ready to go. Um, and then um, about another maybe month or two. It'll be all Android and it's going global wide. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, all right. and thank you again. Okay. Keep running with it. Run with it. Come on. Run with it. I need a dog. Okay. Thanks, right. Robert. All right. Hopefully, see you in Vancouver in September. We're doing some speaking tours. So, oh, um, yes. Love some motivational see. talk. So, I'll be doing a tour. So, I'll be popping in your studio live. Yes. Anytime. Anytime, right. Robert. Okay, Thank you. bye for now. Bye-bye.